a particle travels along a straight line with a velocity v equals 12 minus 3 t squared meters per second, where t is in seconds. When t equals 1 second, the particle is located 10 meters to the left of the origin. Okay, so assuming that the positive direction is to the right, this is basically our initial condition, which states when t equals 1, s equals minus 10 meters. Please pay attention to a very important point here. The given conditions are not necessarily the conditions from where the problem starts. Think of it this way. You started your stopwatch at t equals 0. The particle started to move, and then you noticed that it is located 10 meters from the origin after one second. So, it doesn't matter if the condition given is at t equals to 0, or not, as long as the question gives you a value of s at some given t. The first part of the question, which is the acceleration at t equals 4, is very straightforward. Take the derivative of a, which is dv over dt, at t equals 4. The result is minus 24 meters per second squared, and this means the acceleration is directed to the left, because our positive direction assumed is to the right. Next, to find the displacement in total distance, we have to check whether the velocity becomes zero at any time between zero and 10 seconds. If we make vt equals zero, you'll easily see that t equals two gives you v equals zero. And this means delta s will not be equal to the total distance. Now, we're ready to integrate v of t to find s of t. And remember our initial conditions of s naught and t naught, which is minus 10 at t equals 1. The result is a cubic function, and the displacement from t equals 0 to t equals 10 is found by calculating s at both times. At t equals 0, s equals minus 21, and at t equals 10, s equals minus 901. The displacement is the difference between s at t equals 10 minus s at t equals 0. And pay attention to the double negative signs here, which become positive. Note that the negative sign of the displacement means that it happened to the left. Using the same information, we only need now to find the position when v equals 0, as shown before. And that was when t equals 2. And s at t equals 2 is minus 5, which means that from t equals 0, the particle moved to s equals minus 5 after 2 seconds. Then turns around and goes all the way to s equals minus 901 after 10 seconds. The first segment from t equals 0 to t equals 2 measures 16 meters from minus 21 to minus 5. And the second segment measures 896 meters, which is the magnitude from minus 901 to minus 5. Make sure you measure the length only without negative signs. Can you find the initial conditions somewhere along the dashed line? Think about it.